Oh, my man. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it promises to be a very spirited event indeed. Friday the 13th at the Gasland Museum. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Gasland Quarter Historical Foundation, Kelsey Wood is joining us. Hi, Kelsey, good morning. Hi, good morning. Sorry, I kind of cut through and had to... No, a little, understandable. It's been a long show, it's been a long <laughs> week. Uh, tell me about what people can expect. It's Friday the 13th with the big party going on. Yeah. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun last year. Yeah. Um, we sold out, so, you know, grab your tickets while you can. Mm -hmm. We're going to have all sorts of things, candlelight tours of the museum, unlike you've seen it before. We're going to have yeah. tarot readings, Ooh. cocktails in the courtyard, of course. Get to Brian. Yeah, Brian's making the cocktails over there. Yeah, but. yeah, we got the best. Um, give me a, what do we have here and what is all this yeah. for? Yeah, so I'm going to be doing ghost hunting gear Stop demos it. in the Stop parlor. It. That's right. So I Kelsey? got a few I don't things. Know. <laughs> I've got um, different devices. I've got the REM pod here, one of my favorites, a stationary device. K2 meter. You might actually recognize that if you know any electricians. It's used for a lot yeah. of different things, including ghost hunting. These are the ever popular spirit boxes. I've got the SB11 here, my favorite, as well as the ghost box. And then the classic rods here, which is one of the oldest forms it's of like ghost It's like when you hunting. hold it and the things kind of move around. Oh. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a Do lot of fun. You get a lot of people who don't really believe stuff and oh, then all yeah. of a sudden they're like oh yeah, you oh, yeah. Them? yeah. we've convinced what do they a lot oh. of skeptics how does that go like they're like ah this is silly this is you know and what it they... usually is it's usually a boyfriend and a girlfriend or a husband and wife <laughs> yeah. and one of them believes the other one doesn't <laughs> and then by the end they have to concede and oh say, my oh, okay God. babe you were right <laughs> uh the significance of all this in this building in san diego's history is pretty pretty amazing yeah as well, right? yeah so we are the oldest structure in downtown san diego oh, wow built in 1850. So it's a salt box style house, gonna look a little different from the other Victorian architecture in the area, but very, very histor historically significant. It's so cool. Yeah. The Davis Thank Horton you. House, what is, what is that one? Yeah, so Davis, he brought the house there. So the museum is inside the Davis Horton House. Davis brought the Horton house Plaza. there. Horton, the famous Horton, we all know mm -hmm. Horton. He lived inside the house while his big fancy mansions were being built, cool. but it is the last Horton house surviving. So oh, wow. very important to San Diego history. Oh, you know this lady here? Oh, sure do. Yeah, she's the best. <laughs> Madam yeah, Samaria. Oh, yes, look at, look at all this stuff. <laughs> this is cool. Hi, how are you? Hi. Madam, how do you say it? Samaria? Yes, you said it perfectly. Listen, we got the tarot cards, we got the crystal ball. Yes. I have my cocktail, which is my crystal ball. Tell me what you do at this big party. So at the party tonight, although I do a lot of different kinds of reading, include, including tarot, there is another yeah. tarot reader I'm going to be focused on, on crystal ball reading and also cool. drink readings. What yeah. readings? Drink readings, yes. Yeah, Okay. you're ready to go. Uh, explain my drink reading. So the, uh, <laughs> How do you do that? Similar to a crystal ball reading, I'm looking in there and I'm looking for shapes or images that sort of things that appear like an image and then I'll interpret the really? image for you based on what you might be thinking. Like literally in your cocktail? Yes. Get <laughs> I was asking Kelsey about when people show up, you get a lot of skeptics, obviously. Yes. And when they start doing this, and they're always blown away if they just do it. So what do people, what's like the most wacky reaction you have from somebody who didn't believe anything and then all of a sudden they went, oh my God, you changed my point of view on this whole thing. Yeah, um, a lot of people can be nervous, can be yeah. scared or what is this, but it's really just an opportunity for critical thinking, introspection and self-reflection during whatever kind yeah. of conundrum they're thinking about. Conundrum, yeah. uh, what, what does this do here? What, what, this what is, is that? sage and a lot of people use sage as sort of like a cleansing thing. Um, wow. it, for here, it's more decoration, but yes, we could Super use it for cool. that. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, thank you very much. And thank the crystal you. ball is doing good over there? The crystal ball like... is great. Yes, I have a smoky quartz. Is it actual crystal? How's that yes, work? it's actual oh, crystal. Out. See? Yes. You learn something new every day. It's actually <laughs> a crystal ball. Yeah, a lot of uh, crystal balls are made out of lead or glass, but yeah. these are actual quartz crystal. I also have smoky quartz here as cool. well. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, before we get to our drinks. By the way, is there a lot of paranormal activity, Kelsey, at oh, the, when yeah. people go? Like yeah. you actually like? Probably every day somebody will tell us something spooky they saw or heard. Sometimes it's tactile, oh, a little my tug God. on the shirt. I tell You're not guys. scared, are you? No, of course not, especially <laughs> now. Uh, this, this building might be haunted. Oh yeah? yeah just Do you want through. me to investigate? Yeah, go through the studio. You'll, All right, no problem. <laughs> you'll be amazed what you find in there. <laughs> uh, okay, my man Brian, finally I get to Brian. No offense you guys. Uh, <laughs> You are pouring, you know, do you see that she could actually do readings off the drinks? What does that mean? 
Isn't I don't cool? know. I'm I'm here to give you the liquid courage <laughs> just in case you're trying to run uh, out. All right, tell me about uh, the spirits, if you will, that we yes. have and that we're going to have at this party. So this one is going to be called the Grapefruit Lolly. It's, is that um, what I'm drinking, by the way? That's what you're drinking right now. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, it's going to have... Super good, dude. It's going to be kind of like a play on a uh, traditional lemon drop, sure. but instead it's going to be on the rocks. We're going to be adding yeah. some triple sack, a little bit of simple simple syrup, and fresh squeezed lime juice oh, as well. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's why I call it kind of my name written all over it when I first walked back and that's all I saw. Uh, okay, so what's people's favorite drinks so like in your line of work right now? What's the number one thing people are going for nowadays? Honestly, if it's not shots, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> people no, like the uh, shots. No, I mean, some people love the shots. Some people like the margaritas. I know that margaritas are a staple for everybody. Yeah, you gotta know? have the margaritas. Yeah, I'm on an old-fashioned kid. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. like your dark spirits? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Dark well, we're gonna have like a lot of spirits rum. tonight at uh, oh, look at that. Oh, Friday that the 13th. comes out fantastic. Look at you. Uh, you Friday the 13th at the Gas Lamp Museum. You gotta go check this out. It's gonna be a party. 7 to 9 p.m. Davis Horton House. 65 bucks. It is a 21 and over event. It is. Yes. Well, obviously. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Any other spooky events you want to tell us about? Uh, yeah. Obviously Halloween. We you love know, now Halloween. it's like two months to celebrate Halloween. So what else right. is that coming up? Yeah, we have all kinds of things. We have paranormal investigations. Ooh, cool. We've got candlelit tours and classic horror movies in the museum. Mm. We've got ghost tours of the neighborhood. We're going to be open on Halloween, of course. <laughs> Do some spooky stuff. Look at Brian. Ooh, Brian. Thank you. Here, no, no, I'm good, this. Brian. Give me, there you go. <laughs> Trying to give me more stuff. Where's yours? Here, you hold it. There you go. Uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. We'll see Thank you in the gas lamp at the museum. Happy That's fantastic. Friday, All the information is on fox5sandiego.com. Party up! <laughs>